Hi, I'm Martin Purdy. I purchased a smart bench back in June 2021 and I started my own business, Gifts in Wood. Seeing as I'm local to the guys, they've asked me if I would come in and share with you how I use smart bench to make projects, which you'll be able to follow along and make yourself. Let's get started. It's Halloween. <laughs> Okay, welcome to our Halloween special. In this video, we're going to be making a six foot tall skeleton. And this skeleton is going to be made of multiple parts, which we are going to fix together using some black string. We are going to spray our six foot skeleton with some matte black spray paint. And then we're going to use some metallic silver then just to create some accents, just for a bit of detail. Um, this is going to be a follow along type video. So we'll show you where we found the file so you can download it yourself. Um, and then we can make this one together. So all of the resources and everything you need to follow along will be down in the description below. So anyway, let's get across to the laptop and we can do a brief view of the file I've made. Okay, so this is the file pieces that I purchased as an SVG. As we said, down in the description below will be the source of where we purchase these. And what I've done is I've taken each of these parts from this section here and I've laid them out on our sheet. As I said, our stock is 1900 by 880. So looking at the parts that we've got, you can see that I've made some slight modifications. So I've taken some of the vertebrae from the spinal column and I've created a neck section. I've also made some drill tool paths then to connect all of our pieces together with paracord okay so you can see there all these pieces should in theory link together so because the bones on the hands and feet are so small it would be extremely difficult to interlink all of these pieces after they've been cut so my intention is to v-carve those into the hands and feet to do that i've created a 60 degree v-bit tool path which is going to be cut as a profile on the lines of each of the bones so just as a note we've got two separate leg bones and we've got two separate arm bones up here and here. As we go into our preview, you can see that they're gonna be cut as one separate vector. Again, this is because if they were separate bones, then it'd be very difficult to link them back together at the end of the project to get a hanging six foot tool skeleton. Okay, so this file is gonna consist of three different tool paths. Um, so not in any particular order, but one of the tool paths is gonna be all of these small internal cuts for the detail on the bones. Um, secondly will be all of the holes then for our string to mount into. Second tool path I've created is, as I said, the 60 degree v carved bit. So that's going to be the collarbones and the shoulder blades, the spinal column vertebrae, um, the teeth and the hands and feet. And finally, the last tool path we'll cut will be all of the external cuts to make all the perimeter for all the bones. I've included some five by 20 mil 3D tabs just to make sure each part stays into our workpiece until the end when we're ready to disassemble. So as you can see, the third tool path then is these outer cuts for these bones. So I've just changed the view there so you can see um, exactly how this is gonna be laid out. And you can see where our 3.175 millimeter cutter is gonna cut. Okay, let's get over to the smart bench. We'll mount the stock onto the spool board and we'll get cutting. Okay, so now we've sent our files over from the laptop to the smart bench, it's time to think about securing your workpiece. Now, we've secured this workpiece by screwing through from the underside of the spool board into the four corners. So I've made sure that where our screws are located, it's not gonna clash with the wheels on the bottom of the X-beam. So another point worth mentioning is because we're using a smaller offcut from a previous project, I've used the laser datum that comes on the Z head and ran that up and down the edge of our project to make sure then we're sitting nice and square. Okay, so before I start cutting, let's just double check. We've secured our workpiece. We've got our correct tool and our correct file loaded to Smartbench. We've connected our extraction and we're pretty much ready now to press play and start cutting. <laughs> So that is the first tool path finished. So that was our V-carve cutting on the vectors now to create the detail. 
Um, I'm really happy with how that came out and it only took 13 minutes to run that whole file. So I'm gonna go ahead now, change the spindle and we'll get straight into the second toolpath. So if you only own one spindle, this is where you would change your cutter instead of your spindle. But I just find it much easier to have two spindles. So while you're using one cutter, you can get the next spindle set up for the next cut and then you can just swap them over and carry on. So that is our file complete now. So it's taken just under 30 minutes to cut all of the external profile cuts and all of the internal cuts for all of the string and all of the detail of this actual model. So we're ready now to unfix this workpiece from our spore board. We're gonna go around them with a jigsaw and we're gonna cut out all of the individual components before moving over to a palm router just to clean off any remnants of tabs. Uh, we'll give it a little tickle over with some sandpaper just so it's nicer to the touch. And then we're ready to take all these components outside and start spraying some paint. I can't wait. Literally can't wait. <laughs> Okay guys, so there's our skeleton all finished. You can decorate yours however you see fit, but we said we're gonna spray ours, which means heading outside. So I'm gonna say goodbye now, but I'm sure we'll take some more footage so you can see the finished product. And if you'd like to follow along and make your own, please make sure you tag us, because we'd absolutely love to see it. So if you have any ideas of a project you'd like to see us make, please feel free to drop us a comment below. So thanks for watching, and happy Halloween.